Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair. Here's a video for you. When I was in high school or in junior high, I used to remember that we had some laptops a long time ago. Now, technically, they weren't the greatest laptops for it. But there was some classic games that we were able to install or if not have it on a flash drive and then play the games for it. One of the popular games was called Icy Tower. Icy Tower was a very popular game and it's probably it's a, probably an old program now if you look at it, at least more than 10 years old. Um, regardless, we're going to be showing you how to install it in Windows 10. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing to do is pretty much go ahead and open a browser. I'm pretty much going to go to Microsoft Edge. And we're going to go to a classic site that I used to go forever. And it's called Acid. And it's going to be dashplay.com. And I'll take us to this site right here. Now, depending, it says HTTPS, you may not even have the S on there, so I actually might need to take that out. So, it's literally an old site. So, HTTP colon slash slash acidplay.com. And here we are to their site. Depending on this, you might need to go to Google and search it in case. So, if I type in acidplay, it'll take us to their regular, yeah, it's a regular HTTP site, not even an HTTPS secured site. Regardless, we're going to get to this location, and there's some of the hottest classic games, and I'll probably make more games for it. This Lemming Ball Z was a popular one. Um, Dragon Ball Z, that's another popular one. Another one was Super Mario. But regardless, we're going to be showing you how to download and install the Icy Tower. So you get to their site and pretty much the first one it has never changed. This is probably still one of the most popular ones. If not, you can search for it and type in Icy Tower. I'm totally misspelling this. And you should get it pretty much on the first or so. Here it is, Icy Tower. So here we are. Same place, or if I can go to here, same thing. And once you get to there, there's going to be so many different types of downloads. It tells you this add to download, or tell you this to start, or this. Just be very careful what you're going to select. What you're going to look for is actually the file downloads. Now, there's two different versions. There's the 1.4 installation version, and there's a 1.3. Now, it tells us it works on Windows 95, 98, Windows XP, and Windows 7. But we're not really sure if this is going to be functional on Windows 10. If not, I'm going to be tweaking it to make it work. There's two different versions. You can choose the 1.3 or 1.4. I used to use the 1.3, so I'm going to go ahead and select that version. And give it a little second, and it probably will prompt you to download again. Let's give it a second. Your game download is about to start. So it took about five seconds. If it doesn't automatically do this, you can click here and it should do the download for you. I don't know why. It just, just took throw a few seconds so you can see the ads. And here's the downloads for it. I can pretty much open up the file. And you'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. And here is the game. Now before I do this, I'm going to go ahead and show you in case you did not see the folder there. Be sure where you located. Mine was in the downloads. And all I'm going to look for is pretty much the exe file called IC Tower. Go ahead and select it and pretty much run it. If you don't have administrator, you might be prompted, but here we are. So I'm pretty much done with this. I don't need the browser anymore. I can go ahead and just exit. And here is the classic game called Icy Tower. This is version 1.3.1. So it's pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and press next. Tell us about introductions and distributing and disclaimers. Again, we're just showing you how to install this. If you want to install this program, it's your response for it. I'm going to press next. It tells you where it's going to be located. It's going to be underneath C drive, underneath the folder called games, and IC Tower um, 1.3, depending on different versions. I'm a very clever on stuff, so C drive and games does bother me when it's lowercase. I'm actually going to change these names uppercase because it really will bother me a lot when I see text like that. So, same concept, IC Tower. And I'm going to go ahead and press next. And it tells us that it's going to be a folder created there. Underneath your start menu, it's going to be a folder called Free Launch Design slash IC Tower 1.3. So I'm going to go ahead and press Next. It tells you want to create a desktop icon. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it there to show you. And I'm going to go ahead and press Next and Install. And here is IC Tower. And I'm going to go ahead and press Next. And it tells us that it's pretty much finished. Now before I click this, I want to show you where it's at. Here's the start menu. And here is the folder called Free Launch Designs. And there is IC Tower. If you decide to uninstall it, there it is. Oh, disappeared real quick. So I guess it's got a glitch on there. Regardless, it's the same concept. It gets installed. Oh, I might have deleted it or it just disappeared by itself. Regardless, IC Tower is there. 
and there's also tweaks and stuff uh, people have so you will find lots of videos there on YouTube for it but here is IC tower I'm gonna click this and you're gonna hear some loud sound so give me a second actually I can probably just put it pretty low let's see what happens okay let's open up the game I see tower and here's the game I bring it up, up to show you I'm gonna go ahead and mute that that you won't hear it and pretty much here's the game for it now a cool feature of this now it, as you see this game can't really expand so to trick this there's a something called control T nope not control T let me see control F uh, not that control F it's trying to get you to my virtual computer because of this um, let's see alt enter no okay so I would actually look this up it's been forever I'm still having some glitches on this regardless this game is installed let me go ahead and just X this program oh it is technically yes it is trying to be yep it's getting a glitch let me close this program real quick Yes, I'm going to force it. I was trying to put it in full screen, but I don't think it's going to because I'm underneath a virtual computer right now. Also, there's options here, and you might need to change those game options for it. So that's probably what happened there right now. So I'm going to go to game options, and you can change your characters. That's pretty much the people that we have. You actually can add mo modulars of different characters also, and you can change what type of floor. Uh, you won't be able to change it until you like pass the score floor level. Now there's the... GFX, that's depending if you want to have full screen. I want to press yes, so that should enable it. Technically, there used to be a command that we should do for it, but it seems it didn't work. And then they have the sound options. If you don't want them to be loud, you can pretty much put them down. You'll just slide over with the number, the arrows pretty much. If you want them to be lower, you can do that. Then press enter, go back. And controls might vary. Some are probably left, left. You see, if you click it and you press right, it'll be the same. So press enter, press left, press right arrow, jump press space, pause, press P, resume, we'll press yes, and you get the point. So I'm going to go ahead and press back and start the game. Now again, I'm going to press start. If this goes to full screen and trips out, it's probably normal, and you might probably see this glitch on my, com my computer too, because I do have a virtual computer too. So let's go ahead and press start game and see what it does. So it is not going full screen, but that is fine. But here's the classic game, and you would have to pass this Every time, pretty much like a hundred. Oh, and I totally already failed on this game. Let me try one more time just to show you. So what the cool feature was that you can run and you can do this. And it was a regular popular game. Let's try a little bit more. You see how cool that is? And you would pretty much try and pass this as the time goes and it will go faster. Now people could just go up and down like this to pass it. And pretty much just continue playing this game. And that's pretty much it. Now to exit this game, you'll pretty much type in escape. And I'll press any key if you want to resume. Or press escape again. That'll be on the keyboard. And it takes us to here. And because we're trying to load this game, it doesn't have the exit button here. So you can press the exit going to it. Another trick for it, and you'll press enter. Another option when you're on this game, you can pretty much click it. Be sure it's clicked. And press Alt F4. And it tells us that warning, forcing the program shutdown may lead data lost. As long as you have pretty much saved the game and you've ready to exit, you can pretty much do the same step and I'll exit the game. And that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much how to download and install a classic game called Icy Tower in Windows 10. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more hit that like button. Get subscribed to comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest I will see you on the next video.